Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, I'm Kyla. And in today's video, I'm gonna be putting up my Christmas tree. So just a disclaimer, if you hear any background noise, it's either my dad or my brother. So yeah, just don't mind them. And I'm not even gonna do too much talking because there's really nothing to say. But I'm gonna set y'all up and show y'all my tree. Here's the box. Um, I got it from At Home. It's a pre lit flop tree. Here's like what it looks like. That's what flop is. It's like snow effect. So I'm gonna just start by taking it out of the box. Um, the tree is six foot five, I believe. So yeah, let's just get right into it. And this is actually my second year having a Christmas tree at my dad's house. Because usually um, we just had one tree at my Gmail's house, so everybody would put all their presents under there. But we decided to get our own because who doesn't want like their own tree? And that's two times the presents, but yeah. Okay, so here I'm just taking the base out and putting the tree skirt over it and putting the first piece of the tree in and screwing it in. So I tried to get my dad to help me with the other two screws and we just decided that one screw is fine. <laughs> it's holding the tree in place, so one screw is fine. As y'all saw that pro tip, make sure you use all three screws or your tree will be lean with it, rock with it, okay? Your tree will be about to fall over. And I learned that very quick. And as y'all be able to see it in the rest of the video, I learned that very quick. But here I put on the second piece of the tree and I'm just fluffing and here's the first fall. Um, so I moved it back a little bit and I'm putting on the last piece and I'm continuing to fluff it out and yeah. Oh my gosh, bro. Yeah, make sure y'all use all the screws. That's all I'm gonna say, just use all the screws available. All right, guys, so I just finished um, fluffing and putting on all the pieces of the tree. It's not completely fluffed, but I know me, as I go, I fluff it more, like while I put ornaments on or pieces that just look empty. But the tree, like I said, is six foot five, so it's going to be really good. But it's okay. really so cute already. Like, I didn't even put an ornament on it. It's already super cute. Like, I love that tree. If I can find it, I will put the link for the tree in the description box below because I'm sure I'll be able to find it. Like I said, I got it at at home, so it should be easy to find. And here I got some red, gold, and white. This bag has a double bag because it's more ornaments. So I'm going to start by flipping this over and unbagging it without making anything for it. All right, y'all, there is mad stuff in here, like mad stuff. So like I said, this tree is pretty lit, so I'm gonna play it in real quick just to see how the lights look, and that's gonna determine how I put the ornaments. <gasps> this makes me so excited, like this really makes me so excited because it's so freaking cute. And now it's easier to like spread it out. Look like it's, it's leaning a little bit. Probably because we only put one screw. But it's okay, it's okay. Leaning trees, we don't judge. Let me show you guys. This is my personal ornament. And this is my brother's ornament. You know. And I'm gonna start by wrapping down with gold. I'm gonna do this fluffing wrap that my stepmom taught me where you go like levels. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So we have like a plaid one and then a gold one with some glitter in it and then we have like ornaments to match that one and stuff but yeah so i'm gonna start with the um gold one. Ooh, i'm glad these are shadowproof because i would have no ornaments i'm gonna start with the gold one and i'm gonna just put it like in here and then make like a bubble so here as y'all can see i'm just still going in and out trying to make them bubbles and i am not the pro at this okay my stepmom is the pro at this i was just trying to make the tree look cute like i'm trying though i was trying but it still looked nice y'all see i have to take a step back and look at it because the tree can look right from one angle but it has to look right from every angle like you know so i ended up using five of these in total i used two of the gold ones and then three of the plaid ones and I was looking in the camera to see like does it look right on camera but it looked cute um I used 
two plaid ones in the back because the one I used was shorter for some reason, but it's whatever. So here I'm starting to put on ornaments and I just started with the red, like spreading them out. I didn't want any ornaments too close to each other. Like I didn't want it to look claustrophobic. Like I didn't want the tree to look like I just did anything because I know how to decorate me a tree, you know? And if y'all see that blur that keep going by real fast, that's my dad because he kept walking past the camera when he could have went the other way. But I'm not even tripping because it was still fun. And yeah. So here I'm showing y'all the K ornament, the H ornament, which represents my last name. You know, K obviously stands for my first name. But later you'll see the J ornament standing for like my dad and my brother's first name. But yeah, nothing out of the ordinary. Still putting ornaments on, trying to spread them out. Like also not putting the same ornament close to each other. Like I don't want a red, 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 white, you know. Um, you know. Trying to mix it up. Alright y'all, so I finished putting all the ornaments on the tree and my dad gave his input telling me like where um, areas look empty and things like that. So now I'm just going to add on the star and let's see if it stays up or if it like bends down. I hope it stays up. But I have to adjust y'all because the tree is kind of high. So yeah. So I got the star to stay up. As y'all can see, it took a little bit of effort and bending the tree and stuff like that because it's heavy. But the tree looks really, 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 really cute. And I'm so excited to see when there's presents and stuff under it because it's going to make it look even cuter. But now I'm just about to clean up real quick and pick up the little stuff that dropped. Like some of the ornaments with the styrofoam beads and I'm broke. So now there's like styrofoam in our carpet, but it's fine. We can just pick it up, easy clean up or vacuum it up. All right, y'all, so the tree is all done. Um, me and my dad figured out a way to put the other two screws in because the base of it was tilted. So that's why they wouldn't go in, but we figured out a way to put them in. So now the tree isn't leaning anymore. Just right. And I have to put the star back on it. And don't mind my edges, y'all. This was a tough process. Like sweated out. Now I'll show y'all a 360 of the tree. Don't mind all the clicking in the back. My dad's playing the game. But yeah, I'm gonna show y'all 360 of the tree and yeah. Alright y'all, thank y'all for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And turn on those post notifications so you won't miss the next video that I post. Make sure y'all stay tuned for my next video and I hope to see you there. Bye!